Hey Eurovision fam, it's Alicia Michelle and welcome to my channel. Today is really exciting because I am going to be reacting to Luxembourg's entry for the 2024 Eurovision Song Contest. Let's get into the reaction. Eurovision 2024. <laughs> I got a new video. I got a new video. Alicia Michelle. you've never been to my channel before welcome if you love the eurovision song contest this is your opportunity to like this video and to subscribe subscribes are free and i'm telling you if you love eurovision come on what are you waiting for subscribe if you're anything like me none of my friends want to talk about eurovision with me so this is your opportunity to have someone to talk to okay now luxembourg is returning to the eurovision song contest and they're returning with a bob with a splash now i did react to all of the songs in the national selection uh snippets of them of course and i will just be honest this was not one of the songs that grabbed me at first i was like it's cute it's fun but mostly i was kind of like Maybe I'm not the demographic for this, but I am excited to get into the live performance because we know Eurovision is all about the execution. So even if a studio cut isn't splashing out of the pages, we know that a live performance can do wonders to make a song really come to life and get other people on board for it. So I am really excited to get into this reaction. Play. Ooh, okay. And I will say, they really pulled it out with the production. This is feeling like a real national selection. Okay. And just so people know, I have heard this song before. I've listened to the studio cut of it. I like how this song is not all in English. I mean, she's selling this with confidence. And, and this is a song you really got to sell with some confidence. And I'm, I'm feeling it. I'm, I'm believing her. We're hitting our notes. Oh, yeah. I'm appreciating the choreography and the camera angles. They're probably going to copy and paste this, you know, just put this onto the Eurovision stage, except we'll have to drop two dancers, right? You know, honestly, with with uh, Tali, I would consider just having all female dancers, just making this like that female anthem, you know. So, yeah, we don't even need the dudes. No offense, guys. But I think we could have this be ladies' night. <laughs> yeah, the vocal's hitting. And you know what's me, so we got to talk about the styling. Yeah, I'm feeling like I'm liking what our dancers are wearing. I wonder if at Malmo, since we've got less countries competing, if we could have, you know, maybe two more people on stage instead of the six person rule. That would be an exciting addition or something to consider. I will never let you down, I know you're a fighter. No, 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 no. Okay. <laughs> Okay, this vocal is hitting. She is hitting these notes with the confidence. I'm glad that she's doing mild choreography because we don't need her dancing a lot. We just need her to groove to it, and we def but we need her to hit the notes. That's the most important thing. Yeah, this is cute. Actually, yeah, could we get, could we have more people on the stage? Wonderful, wonderful. Okay. Well, it's me, so you know we're going to kick it off and talk about the styling. 
I think she looks great. I think the hair, the makeup, the outfit was right. I actually really like the way our dancers are styled as well. They're sort of in line with what she's giving, but not pulling focus away from Tali, our soloist, you know, coming out there on the stage. So I really did think that that styling package was good. And she looks powerful you know it's you know the song is fighter like she looks like okay yeah i'm coming out here i'm doing it the attitude with which she was selling it let's talk about the performance the attitude with which she was selling it was everything you needed to do to sell a song like this i liked um how they sort of were thoughtful about keeping her in one place because she might not be like a dancer singer sort of attitude but i think the way that she was moving it was intentional and and i think because this song does have some vocal moments which we want on the Eurovision stage which we know is helpful on the Eurovision stage uh Tali is getting those vocal moments uh and we want to make sure that there's a way for her to really be able to do that with confidence and, and so giving her tons of choreography was probably not going to be the best move on their part so I think it's good in the way that she's moving let's talk about the staging I mean, honestly, they could really pick this up and just put it on the Eurovision stage. I think that the staging package was just fine. I think we could be maybe more thoughtful and more inventive with our LEDs. I think that we could incorporate some augmented reality if there's budget. You know, maybe at the end we will have some pyro. So, but ultimately, I think the package that they're presenting will work on the Eurovision stage. I think the package that they are putting together is good enough and, and will be impactful. But again, I think because we have this national selection performance and we're going to have the Eurovision one, I think there are small things you can do to kind of elevate. So I like the styling, but maybe we do the same styling, but with a different color. Maybe we bring in some blue. Maybe we bring in uh, some red. I don't know. I don't know if she's a summer a fall, a spring, or an autumn. But let's figure out if she's a summer, fall, spring, or autumn and find an outfit for her that'll work in alignment to kind of make sure that she does pop on the stage. But I think it is fun to kind of mix up and do something that is an elevation from what you did at your national selection. And again, I do think just let's be maybe more thoughtful about the LEDs when we get on the Eurovision stage. And of course, Luxembourg clearly has the budget. I hope they didn't spend all their money on the national selection so that we have some budget left over for pyro at the end okay my personal opinion where will this fall in my ranking do i think luxembourg is coming back and going to win eurovision this year no i don't i don't think that we're in that territory i do wonder about this song as we get down the line like i don't know how many other pop girlies we're gonna have in the pipeline for eurovision so there's the potential that Tali could be having some direct competition well, in some of the semifinals. So I'm, I, I think we need to be careful and mindful of that when we're thinking about where Luxembourg will wind up. But I will say this, and I'd be remiss if I didn't say it. Luxembourg did the right thing with their national selection. They had an international jury. They had all of these Eurovision winners coming back. People that tend to end up on juries and things. So uh, I think if this song makes it to the final, I would not be surprised to see it in the top 10 and, and just having that uh, welcome back. Because, I mean, we know Eurovision is about momentum and Luxembourg is coming in with a lot of momentum and a lot of people like, ooh, what are they going to do? And and I don't think that that's a bad thing. I think that's the right thing. That's what you want to do. So, I, and, and I think even them having so many winners, you know, at the national selection, it's like you're kind of getting the Eurovision community invested in what you're doing so I do think if this does make it to the final which I kind of expected to make it to the final I'll be honest I expected to the only thing that could maybe derail this from making it to the final is unless we get some real bombastic pop girlies who are going to be dipping and doing it you know and really singing and dancing if we're going to have some like Chanel-esque some Eleni Ferreira-esque performers in the pipeline. I don't know if we're going to get that this year. I, you know, I, I don't know if that's where Eurovision 2024 is going. For me personally, I don't really know where this falls in my ranking, but I'll be honest, I don't think I'm the target demographic for this. I think this is a little bit more youthful. I like a little bit more out of the box. I like a little bit more kind of strange songs. So that's my 
that's my bias that's my lens with this but i can always be swayed by the execution of a strong pop entry and i will say this was executed well do i think that this will will be a skip for me no i already have it on my playlist <laughs> so i'm already listening to the song and i'm already enjoying it but i don't think that this will be one of my favorites from this year well that was my reaction what do you think drop down and talk to me in the comments below do you agree with my reaction talk to me in the comments below do you disagree that's okay too talk to me in the comments below this is a conversation and you know what i'm so excited for eurovision 2024 if you haven't already please like this video and please do subscribe i look at my analytics so many people watch my videos i know so many people love eurovision and they're not subscribed subscribes are free and i really really appreciate it if you subscribe so thank you so much for watching i got so much content coming for you thanks bye